Here is an example of how to calculate the velocity of a wave on a string and then in addition maybe we want to know how long it takes for the wave to travel from one end of the string to the other end of the string. Notice that the string has a mass of 150 grams, it has a length of 2 meters at the bottom of the string, there's a mass of 10 kilograms suspended on it which of course provides the tension in the string. And the equation that we derived on the previous video tells us that the velocity on a wave is always equal to the square root of the tension divided by the mass per unit length. Well in this case the tension is caused by the weight of this mass and so that would be the mass times the acceleration of the gravity, the weight, divided by the mass per unit length which is 150 grams, that would be um, m divided by l, like this. Now notice that I don't want to call the mass of the string and the mass of the weight the same variable so let's make this a big m and a small m to differentiate. It's always better for clarity, so the big M is 10 kilograms, the small M is the mass of the string. All right, so simplifying this a little bit more, this is equal to the square root of the mass of the object times g times the length divided by mu, because when you divide by the length in the denominator, that's the same as multiplying times the length in the numerator. Okay, now we can go ahead and plug in the numbers and see what we get. The square root of 10 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second square times the length which is 2 meters all divided by mu and mu is oh wait a minute I don't want mu anymore I have an m down here so that means I want a small m here and the small mass is 150 grams which is 0 0.150 kilograms we have to convert gotta be careful here the mass per unit length is m over l, l goes to the top, m stays in the bottom. Okay, now, with a calculator, let's find out what that is equal to. So we have 10 times 9.8 times 2 divided by 0.15 equals, taking the square root, it looks like that wave will move with a speed of about 36 meters per second. All right, now to find the time, so we go back to our mechanics. Equations of uh, velocity is equal to distance divided by time, which then implies that time is equal to distance divided by velocity. The distance the wave travels is 2 meters, and the velocity is 36 meters per second. And so we take the inverse of the answer, multiply times 2, and so the total duration would be 0 0.055 seconds for the wave to travel from one end of the string to the other end. So these are straightforward. Once you know the equation and you know how to plug in the numbers, it's not that hard to find the velocity of a wave on the string.